Once I have bangs and, or a fringe, whatever you want to call it, I think in England we prefer to call it a fringe, you have them cut because it seemed like a good idea at the time and then two weeks later it's in your eyes and they're annoying you or you get caught in the wind and it's like something about Mary or they're frizzy and when it's like humid and it's just a nightmare and then the grow out phase is not cute. They're like this length and you don't know what to do with them. You've got a headband and they're sticking up or anyway, it's just a nightmare. So I wanted to share a trick with you I have today for fake bangs and covering up a root because it's kind of a two in one. So my hairdresser introduced me to these which are clip-in bangs or clip-in fringe, whatever you want to call them. And they basically have snaps on the inside and she dyes it to match your hair color. So rather than having no roots in them, she's kind of giving it that ombre effect so that it's not, it looks real. And honestly, once you've washed them a few times, it kind of gives it more of that real hair texture as well. So it's not too shiny. So what I found the easiest way to do this, to put it in, is to obviously unsnap them first and then to a center part. It doesn't have to be neat or a slick back. It's just to kind of, Put this in so when you're playing around with it later or if you need to trim any hairs you're not trimming your own hair so i tend to adjust and then put it start with it quite far forward and then slide it back to where i think i want it to be before i snap it into place Ooh, that's a little bit too far so it's kind of playing around with it. you don't want it back here where you've got really weird fringe you kind of want it i like to curve it slightly in my eyes and then I've either blow dried that or I'll probably just trim that bit in a little bit. And then whether I'm doing my hair up or down, I always start with it tied up to do this. And then what I would do is brush my own hair down into it so that I have some of my own hair and some of this. So I mean, you could just leave it all down and you don't see anything of that either. And then what you do is just style your hair as normal their real hair you can then straighten them blow dry them do whatever you want with them to make the style work i actually blow dried them a little bit too flat so i just wanted to create a little bit more shape and then straighten my own hair that's blending into them and then where you've got some loose some loosey gooseys we can just flick those down a little bit so that everything is just nice and smooth and blended in. This is just a smooth and seal kind of anti-frizz. And I don't, like, literally don't have to be too careful with it because you know as soon as you walk out the door, you're probably gonna hit the wind anyway. And then you can either do a ponytail, you could do a, a bun, whatever your normal go-to. That is the finished look. And there we have it.